It's pretty common for raiding guilds to record their performances through combat logs. Advanced combat logs, also referred to as logging, is a great tool that allows raiders to analyze their damage and healing throughput and properly address areas of concern when it comes to optimizing their strategy to kill a boss. What is a little less common is for dungeoneers to record their dungeon runs. Not only is this possible, but it's extremely beneficial for anyone who's willing to do so. In this video, I wanted to spend some time talking about how you can set up advanced combat logging, making sure that logging is enabled, and talk about why it's important. Feel free to skip around the video if needed by using the YouTube timeline below. And if you end up enjoying this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post Mythic Plus content fairly regularly. Anyways, let's dive in. Before I talk about how to set up logging and ways to make it hands-free, let's talk about why you might want to actually set this up in the first place. Advanced combat logs are essentially a recording of an instance that breaks down each and every player and enemy unit, tracking everything from spell casts to the targets, positioning, buff up time, debuff up time, etc. It'll basically tell you what happened during an entire boss fight or a dungeon run. This is really important because it's data, and data can tell you a lot. It can tell you if your damage was on par or below par. This might incentivize you to improve your damage rotation, or it might provide some insight on how you can better optimize your pulls. Looking deeper, you might be able to see why a certain player might have died at a certain point in a dungeon, and reverse engineer how your group could have prevented it, whether it be CC, defensives, or just better throughput. Now, you don't have to be an expert log reader to utilize this tool. Luckily for us, there are great sites like WoW Analyzer or Wipefest that you can plug your log into and it's going to spit back an analysis. Take the information from these sites with a huge grain of salt because some classes aren't fully updated and bugs are constantly being found, but I will say this. When I'm learning a new class or tank, for example, this is the first step that I take that gives me a pretty intense reality check and will help me identify at what points I'm messing up in either my rotation or my defensive usage throughout a run. This video is going to be about how you can get logs set up, but I will not be going over how to use WoW Analyzer in great detail. I'll save that for another video, but if logging is something you're interested in setting up to improve your gameplay, let's walk through that process now. First things first, we're going to need to get the Warcraft Logs companion app, which makes logging extremely easy since you can pretty much do it from all in game. Back in my day, we used to have to manually upload logs to the website. So to get this set up, head over to warcraftlogs.com. I'll have the link in the description below. On the homepage, you're going to see the option to download the client here. Once you click this, it's going to lead you to the client download. Here you're going to find two different options. First, you have the uploader, which can be used on Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. This app just allows you to upload logs from your desktop, but you won't be able to access it in game. If you use Mac OS or Linux, you're going to just get the uploader. The only downside is that you're not going to be able to upload logs from in game. I recommend that Windows users actually opt to download the Warcraft Logs Companion on the right hand side. This will allow you to have access to the uploader in game. Once you click this link, it's going to take you to another site called Overwolf. In case you aren't familiar with this site, it's basically an all-in-one platform creating and sharing in-game apps and mods for a variety of different games. Look, Jeff Bezos even gave it a 5 skull rating. Not bad. Once you have it downloaded, you should be good to go. Let's make sure we launch the app. Let's quickly log into game and let me show you how this works. You should notice the Warcraft Logs icon here. If you don't see it, you'll need to launch the application. This icon can be moved around, so just put it into a location that suits you. I personally put it right here above my chat box, but you can also hide it by using the command Alt-K. We also need to tell the game to actually record advanced combat logs. You can do that by going into the menu and then clicking Options. We then want to go to the Network tab all the way at the bottom and then check the box that says Advanced Combat Logging. At this point, we should be all set up. Whenever you want to start logging the content you're doing, you'll need to type the command slash combat log. This will tell the game that you're going to want to start recording the metrics of your gameplay. It will then save these text files into your World of Warcraft logs folder. Now this might seem like a lot of steps, but we can make it much more simple and much more automated. In order to do so, we're going to need to get one last add-on, the Raider.io client. For this, we can head over to Raider.io. If you aren't familiar with the site, you definitely should be. Raider.io is a great one-stop shop for all things PvE related in World of Warcraft. You can see leaderboards, you can check raid progress, look at character builds, and also they post regularly about tips and tricks for Mythic Plus and raiding. If you're new to the site, you'll also want to create an account and link it with your Battle.net account. This will come in handy later. 
Anyways, the Raider IO add-on can be found right here. You'll want to download it for whichever operating system you play on. Once you download it, you'll want to run the installer, and then once the client is installed, you're going to want to launch the app. It will prompt you to log in, so once you do so, it'll scan your profile and update all your character's progress, showing both the Mythic Plus score and your raid progress. The last thing you're going to want to do is enable live tracking, which will automatically start combat logging every time we log in and go into an instance. You can do that by going into the setting tabs found here, and then enable live tracking. With this, unless you're very diligent about deleting your archived combat logs, you might want to also check this box here, which will automatically remove archived logs after 30 days. I do a lot of dungeons and I raid fairly often, so my logs really start to add up. Sometimes it's even multiple gigabytes worth of combat log text, so keeping this folder clean will keep your computer running healthy. With everything set up now, let's see how this is going to look in action. Upon entering an instance, you're going to see a little text blur pop up in your chat box from the Raider.io add-on saying combat being logged to logs slash wow combat log. That means that the instance is now being recorded, which is exactly what we want to see. Next, we're going to want to click on the Warcraft log companion button. Remember, if it's hidden, we can make it appear by hitting Alt K. And if that doesn't work, it's most likely because you forgot to run the companion app altogether. Once you click that button, this window is going to pop up. You can choose to live log, which means that as you complete content, you can see the data immediately, or you can choose to upload the log after you're done playing it if you wish to do so. This is completely personal, but I prefer live logs. One last niche little thing that's nice about the companion app is the characters tab. This allows you to actively look at the logs of players who are queuing for your keys in a group finder, or can easily search their name here in the text box. This is great for players who want to be a little bit more picky about who they're choosing for the content that they're doing. Anyways, that's pretty much it. You're all set up. I know that seemed a little more complicated than it needed to be, but this is such a large step into beginning to analyze your gameplay and improving when it comes to Mythic Plus and raiding. If you have any questions though, leave them below or feel free to reach out to me on Discord. If you found this video useful, please hit that like button. Lastly, a massive shout out to my patrons who give their real dollars and dimes to support my channel, because without them, there'd be much less of this. So thank you guys. Anyways, I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.